rightly, those in congregated settings are a, a high priority for the government's vaccination. But I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't see any mention of those who are in receipt of home care. And they have a, a vulnerability over and above elderly people generally, because you have two or three different carers coming into their home every day, and those carers are also going into many other homes every day by necessity. So will they be prioritised for the purposes of the vaccine? I thank you, the Deputy. It's a very fair question. Um, my own granny is about to turn 102 and has carers coming into the house. And I want to know when she's going to be vaccinated and when her carers are going to be vaccinated. The key is to protect the vulnerable person in the home more than the carers coming in and out. So the key is to vaccinate my granny, quite frankly. And the, the answer to that deputy lies in the prioritization. So for example, uh, the, the third cohort is those over the age of 70. Um, based on the, the schedule that I uh, laid out to the house earlier on today, uh, the population over the age of 70 would be vaccinated within the next 11 months. So uh, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to give you, I'm, I'm sorry to cut across you, but uh, we, I accept that those over 70 will be prioritised, and I agree with that. I accept that those in, in nursing homes will be prioritised even among those over 70. I agree with that. But will there be a prioritisation for persons who are in receipt of home care because of their unique vulnerability? It's a yes or no answer. Those in receipt of carers, I, I'm not trying to obfuscate. I, I'm trying to make the point that it's not a yes or a no. NIAC have given a prioritisation, uh, and some people in receipt of carers will be higher up or lower down on that list. So over the age of 70, we'll have you in one group. An underlying condition will have you in a different group. Uh, you could still be in receipt of carers, but have neither of those, in which case you'd be in a different group again. Antigen testing is something that I have called for in the past. And I'm not saying that it would replace or supplant PCR testing, but I'm asking, will the government consider the rollout of more antigen testing, both in terms of travellers and in terms of the general population, so that they can ascertain whether or not they pose a risk? Uh, the European Commission have recommended it, and we seem to be laggards in that regard in Europe. In terms of antigen testing or rapid testing, I fully agree. I want to see more of it. Uh, it is being deployed, so it was deployed in Letterkenny, it's being deployed in healthcare settings, we're working on other, other places uh, that it can be deployed. But I do note, for example, uh, the very wide dis use of it in the UK, and we are exploring uh, how that could be deployed here. And, and I agree wholeheartedly, it's not in a place where we replace PCR testing, it's to be used in places where we wouldn't otherwise use PCR testing. There's one other thing I want to raise, and that's the issue of, of blame generally. Um, obviously, I, like everybody else, is hugely concerned by the, the COVID figures. Um, but there's a tendency to blame people. And that's a concern to me and the effect that that will have on society. Where is the flu this year? Because if the population behaved as recklessly as they were as some would suggest that they behaved, and people did um, behave recklessly, a small minority did, and I don't condone that in any way, but if the general population was reckless as people suggest, or indeed if the government was as reckless as people would suggest in its advice, well then where is the flu? Because clearly the social distancing measures, the wearing of masks, etc., seem to be having an effect on flu. And lastly, Minister, in the event that there is a, a flu pandemic this year, as there is every year, are we prepared? I, I don't know uh, where it is. What I do know is it's not here, which is fantastic, and, and other European countries are seeing the same. My, my guess, I'm not really qualified to answer the, 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 the causality on this, but my, my, my best guess would be a combination of, as you say, masks, uh, basic infection prevention and control, the biggest flu vaccination program we've ever had in the, the, the country, and I, I'd say it's a combination of things, and thank goodness it hasn't arrived here.